So for the C8, I have the red cover. I got this from 404 Parts. If you just Google 404 Parts, you'll find it. They have some pretty good deals. I think I picked this up for about $3.95. Um, it's got some protective uh, film on the, the black part. Um, and then as you can see, the Chevy flag, that's the only part that's kind of disappointing. I see a lot of people painting these, but I didn't really like the look. Ended up finding some uh, hood emblems, or not hood emblems, but the emblems off the front fender. This is what the car will normally come with. And then there's, if you get the chrome package, I think it's like a $100 option on the car, you get this and the, the silver Corvette lettering. Um, anyway, you can see that it's not quite the same size. It's a little bit bigger, but if I line it up, I just think it lock, looks a lot better. Now, being that the, uh, the lettering is chrome, that's why I decided to get the, uh, the chrome badge. So let me put that in place here. Um, and it's not angled correctly, but I think you get the gist of it. So as far as where I got these, the black one, this was a takeoff. It was on eBay. It was about 10 bucks. You can see it's still got the, the whatever, the peel and stick, like 3M adhesive on the back. Um, and then on the chrome one, that was brand new. I, I don't remember where I got it. I just did a search and found it. And uh, it was kind of pricey. I think it was, you know, 60 some dollars. And then I've scraped off uh, the majority of that gummy stuff. Kind of hard to get off. And then what I'm going to be using is the uh, just a high temp R RTV gasket maker. I did a little sample of this, just put it on the bench, and and uh, overnight it was it was perfect. So um, it, it's going to adhere just fine, and it'll be resistant to the temperature. Okay, I just put the RTV on just a minute ago. Oh, and the tape. I used to turn wrenches for a living, but for whatever reason, I'm all thumbs, and I was afraid I was just gonna get a giant blob of it where I didn't want it. So anyway, that's what that is. Don't don't mind that. Um, anyway, as you can see, I put it on kind of thick, like you're putting toothpaste on a toothbrush. And um, I chose to do this rather than just do the peel and stick because when I peeled the peel and stick, um, it's got plenty of tack, but I was more concerned about the heat. Um, that's why I went ahead and scraped it off. And uh, anyway, this is what I'm gonna do. Um, this will peel off, but it's pretty sticky. So, um, you know, I feel like that's, uh, that's the way to go. All right, I brought a little light over because I know it's gonna be hard to see, but what I'm trying to do is, uh, let me use this key to kind of point it out. I'm trying to line up the leading edge of the, the emblem with there's an edge here and on this side. So right now I have the emblem a little, you know, closer to the camera as I'm filming it. The other thing is the point I'm lining up with the, uh, the seam you can see there. So let's see if we can figure this out here. you can see I've got a little bit too much RTV there so I'm gonna wipe that off and, and that's okay that's kind of what I was worried about that's why I put the tape on there but otherwise um, I think it looks okay so we'll check back in a little bit all right so here's our final product and boy I'm sure glad I used that tape I ended up making a little bit of a mess but it was all confined to the tape okay so you know as I mentioned the point on the emblem I've got that lined up with the uh, I guess that center edge and then where the flag was the molding um, I have that leading edge of the the chrome emblem lined up on both sides and that'll give us our spacing or the correct uh, uh, adjustment the other thing I noticed uh, was this red um, on the emblem it, it matches the cover and I didn't um, I didn't know that so that was kind of a nice find um, and on the black one it's also the same so the other thing that I wanted to mention is I was pretty lucky that I did the RTV you can if you look close you can kind of see um, where it kind of squished out a little bit and I've wiped up the excess but the point is is if it were black that would be pretty noticeable so I'd recommend going with either the the red if you have a red engine cover or a clear 